Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So Tonic are relaunching their craft kit collection. So they've given it a bit of an update, a little bit of a facelift, and I have to say, I am super impressed. First of all, I love the box. I mean, it's just a box, but it's very cute. We've got a little bag of all the goodies in here. Every three months, there's a ring binder but every month you'll find a collection of dies and stamps which you can add to your ring binder. Now for those of us that use electronic die cut machines, these are sort of not something we work with very often, but we do use the stamps. However, this kit is brilliant and you don't have to actually create what it's intended for. But there's some lovely sentiments in this that would work really nice. And of course, if you wanted to create the purse box, you can if you've got a hand die cut machine. We also get a folder of cardstock as well. I really like that this is a little folder because it can be reused over and over again, especially for single cardstock sheets. So we've got a lovely embossed paper here, which is really nice to work with. And it's a gorgeous sort of powder blue. We've got some blue glitter cardstock, some plain white cardstock, this absolutely beautiful rose gold foil craft card. We've got some blue card, some purple card, and some pink card. We've got some mirrored card in a sort of deep purple, which is a gorgeous card. And then we've got their lovely cotton paper which have always got really nice patterns and this is like a chocolate brown which is beautiful and the pattern in here is like circles with lines going through them it's a very beautiful cotton paper in our little bag we've got our very own tonic pen which i'm very excited about because it goes with my tonic mug and my tonic coaster so I know, it's really geeky, but I'm super happy. We get a glitter marker in Wild Mulberry, and I love working with the tonic glitter markers. We get some Pure Sheen sequins in Spring Rose. We've got some Glimmer Paste in Galactica Blue, which is a really beautiful Glimmer Paste. It's a gorgeous colour. We've got Crystal Drops in Navy Blue and some 8mm Maxi Clear Tape. I love this tape, it's one of my favourite things. I've got all of the tape runners and I absolutely adore this. So Tonic did send me this, but the craft kit is something that I have purchased in the past. So what I tend to do is I wait for it to be announced because it's announced a month in advance. And then if I like the look of it, I will become a member, I purchase it for that month, I also get the discount with that membership, and then I either continue it if I like the following few months, or I will cancel it and then reopen it as and when I want it, which is really flexible to be able to do. This is personally a kit that I would have purchased because I love the cardstock colours, and I can do a lot with this. So I've got some of the white cardstock here and I've got some of the Nouveau Mica Mist and this is Midnight Horizon which came in the pack. Give it a really good shake and then I'm just going to start spraying that all over. And I'm going to do some more denser areas and sort of some bigger splodges as well. I've got a little bit of Nebula Blue. and a little bit of antique gold and then a little bit of violet lustre and a little bit of oriental fuchsia For my two planet pieces I've got some sparkle spray in frosted lemon 
I'm just gonna add a little bit of sparkle spray frosted lemon onto there as well. I've got some sparkle spray marine mist. I've got some sparkle spray in lavender lining. And I've got some sparkle spray in morning fog. So next I've got some Nouveau Shimmer Powder. This is Solar Flare. This is Catherine Wheel. This is Cherry Bomb. And this one is Sunray Crozette. It's gonna add a little bit. Now you don't need to squeeze these bottles, you just want to tap them. And I've then got some water in a spray bottle. Add a little bit more to there. So I've got two pieces of craft board that I've cut here and I'm just going to stick those together. I'm just going to use some Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive, it's, my one, it's one of my favourite glues to use. I've then got some foil acetate, which is Cricut foil acetate, and I'm going to glue that on top of my craft board. And that can now be left to dry.